Welcome to another episode of Autograph Tips and Discussions with Remember the Great Sports. Well, today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about through the mail autographs. Well, this just came to my attention on a couple forums that I belong to uh, discussing autograph collecting. And I just wanted to share this information with you to ultimately try to save you some money because I really hate when you send out an autograph request and it, it just gets sent back to you or you never see it again. With this being said, a couple Major League Baseball teams have officially said that they are not accepting fan mail during spring training. Here is a, a picture of a return that somebody sent to the Cincinnati Reds and as you can see it is clearly stamped on the envelope what their intentions are. Now from what I gather there's only three teams so far when I'm recording this video that are refusing mail in spring training and that is the Cincinnati Reds, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the Kansas City Royals. Now I don't know what their reasoning is for this. I have not seen an official press release or anything like that. This is just simply something that I have seen others post in forums about collecting autographs through the mail. So I just wanted to put this heads up out there to some of you that collect autographs that you know you might want to reconsider sending especially to those three teams but maybe just spring training altogether. Now I'm not saying that every spring training team is refusing requests because there's obviously people out there getting returns back from a couple teams. I've seen that as well, but these three teams for sure are refusing fan mail. Now the second thing I want to talk about, and this is going to impact everybody not just in spring training, but we're talking overall and through the mail collecting. Well, earlier in February, the Washington Post reported that the Postmaster General wanted to consolidate first class mail to slow down the process of mail delivery. Well what this means in a nutshell is is first class mail which is what you send your autograph request typically through you know just a forever stamp or whatever is going to be significantly slowed down and also the article reported possibly having a increase in postage rates again. This is something to look into the future. As things develop, I'll definitely keep you updated if I find out anything more. But going into 2021, collecting autographs through the mail, we may have a completely different world come next year when, when it comes to sending out autograph requests. Again, thank you for joining me for another episode. This is not something that is a positive episode, but I just wanted to make everybody aware of what's kind of going on in the through-the-mail autograph world right now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.